Let's take a closer look at one of the treasures of the National Firearms Museum. We're near Case 60, a case that's devoted to the evolution of the rifles in America, a case that shows many odd and intriguing arms, but none as unusual as the piece that I'm holding, one that was made by Bill Ruger, a man whose name is very familiar in the American firearms industry. But once upon a time it wasn't. He was a man looking for a job. He took a prototype rifle using a Savage lever action rifle, this particular gun, he converted it to semi-automatic operation. And with this in hand, he went to the U.S. Army in 1942. He knocked on the door of Springfield Armory and he asked if he could have a job. Said he would like to become a firearms designer for the U.S. military. They took a look at the product he had brought with him and they hired him on the spot. They said that the rifle he had brought was the best portfolio they had ever seen. This particular rifle once was a 250 3000 lever action Savage rifle, a Model 99, one of the more popular deer rifles of its day. But Bill Ruger converted it into a semi-automatic, keeping the caliber the same, but changing it to an operation that was gas operated. An unusual rifle, but one that you could see marked the beginning of the Ruger firearms empire. This is the first Ruger, the gun that made all the others possible, all those Blackhawks, Mini 14s, number ones, even the Model 77 bolt action rifle owes its existence to this one rifle, the Ruger prototype.